Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm John Batiste. I'm a steel businessman and a veteran. Represent Klein Steel and a huge number of our customers that represent the manufacturer base within New York State. That is what's left of this great capability that's so important to our country. We believe that we're a nation and a state in crisis, serious crisis, and fully support the Unshackle Upstate call to action, extraordinary action, needed now. We fully support this initiative. The priority, priorities that they've set and insist upon deliberate and measurable change. I didn't say incremental. Deliberate and measurable change. This great state of, our, state of ours has enormous potential, but not until we dig ourselves out of the hole that we're in. It is a deep pit. This will require cutting programs, balancing the budget, paying as we go, no new taxes, no new assessments, no new fees. All of that approach has to stop. We must balance this budget. Uh, businesses are doing it right and left. In the last 10 months, Klein Steel has cut salaries by 10 percent. All bonuses have stopped. Uh, all 401k matching programs have stopped. We're doing all that we can and should responsibly to protect our great company and balance the equation between revenues and expenses. We did it. We can do it. We expect our government, the state government, to do the same thing. At the same time that we were working so hard over this 10-month period, the New York State increased its spending by 8.7 percent and funded that with increased taxes, fees, and assessments and a reliance on the national stimulus package. My view is this is not responsible state government. Let me give you two very quick real-world examples of how this impacts a company like Klein Steel. If, if you look outside of the state of New York in the Northeast and compare our operations with like service centers, like steel service centers, same size, same general concept of the operation, uh, their expenses are less than ours by 10 to 15 percent. And that takes